Like you're here? <laughs> you're here for gating and grilling? <laughs> Let's do this thing. Gating and grilling, y'all. Good friends, good music, mm. good food make a great tailgate. <laughs> and so does our buddies at D Community. That's right. You got to get in it to, to win, win it. it. Hit the QR code for a parlay and win some cash and prizes. Carl, hey, man. What's yeah. going on? Look at that. Look at that. Fox. I had to try to step up my game today, man. So I called my man, Doug Hassel. Oh, Doug. Hassel Cattle Company. Texas grown Wagyu beef sent me these beautiful tri tips. I got a Koneka popper today. Koneka popper? Oh, yes, sir. Sweet. What's in that popper? Uh, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you here shortly. <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> okay. You know what? Walk us through it, dude. Walk All right, dude. Once you take these tri-tips out of the package, it's got a silver skin over it. And all that off, so you rub adhere to it. So I've got a restaurant in Goldsboro, crawling shells, and the steak shake that we use. First coat, mm -hmm. i got a beef rub I've been working on for about three years. I hit it with that beef rub there at the end. And that's your two seasonings that are on that right there. And what wow. you want to do is just let it sit for about 30 minutes and marry up. Okay. And we're going to do a reverse sear on this. Well, that means I'm going to cook it low and slow, around 200 degrees, bring it up to about 100 degrees internal, this Louisiana grilled about 375, 400. <laughs> and then you want to sear it. You want to get a good sear on it. Jalapeno popper, split in half. I took the seeds and the veins out, get most of the heat out. Then I took cream cheese, cheddar cheese, John Boy and Billy chicken rub, John Boy and Billy pork rub, oh, wow. John Boy and Billy original grilling sauce, mixed all that in, stuffed it down in that pepper, and set that Koneka sausage right on top of it. You know and what? wrapped that bad boy in bacon, and then seasoned up. Yeah with John Will Billy pork rub on the outside because you want some sweet to go with that heat. Hey man, this is just amazing as usual. We need to let you get to grilling. Yeah, I can't <laughs> wait. After the break, Andrew Applegate, one of the up and comers in Nashville, is gonna play his brand new single, I Don't Love You Anymore. Let's take a minute to talk about our friends at D Community and the weekly parlay challenge. Kevin and the guys are awesome on gating and grilling. You know that. But what everyone needs to know is there's a really fun hidden part, which is the parlay challenge. Basically, each week, everyone needs to pick their winner and total points to get an entry in the weekly challenge. And there's lots of prizes. We do best picks and random prizes drawn from everyone who entered. Plus, there's a leaderboard. So if you do it each week, there'll be season prizes. And those who play each week will have better chances to win those prizes. So scan the QR code or the link uh, on the YouTube bio or go to dcommunity.io and you will see the tailgate promo. That's it. Have fun and good luck and roll tide. Oh, you okay. just had to wear that color <laughs> on yeah. the set. Yeah, sure. Man, Andrew, thanks for being in oh, gating and grilling, dude. <laughs> How long you been involved, man? Eight months, bro. So there's still time. But we yeah. might convert you before Maybe. you leave Gatineau. Maybe, grill. honestly, yeah. <laughs> How'd moved, you become a boss fan? <laughs> moved to Tennessee. My woman was a boss fan, so, you know, right. had to do it. What do you think about the season? It's going pretty good. Defense looks really good. Okay. Uh, offense looks really good, too. But okay. defense, I think, it's awesome. So tell me about your musical heroes. I love Merle Haggard. Uh, favorite of all time would definitely have to be George Jones. Um, it's just what me and my dad, you know, that's what I grew up listening to, riding around the truck with him. Favorite song? He stopped loving her today. Yep. 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 You're in the, you're in the studio right now, writing, recording? Yes, sir. So uh, um, we've got an EP coming out here very soon. Um, uh, it's a five song EP, and we've been working really hard on it, really excited about it. Um, yeah, it's, it's a blessing from God, really. And we're glad to have you. What What are you going? What's your What's the single you're going to play? So I don't love you anymore. It's what it's called. Um, it was actually one of those songs where uh, I jotted down like the first line. We finished the song in about thirty minutes. It was just one of those songs, you know. Just there it is. Yeah, man. Well, it's the ones you live, you know. Oh yeah. Take it for a spin. Yes, yeah, sir, brother. I ain't seen myself in days. And ain't tears roll down my face well, She was here and now she's gone Well, asking myself, where did it go wrong? 
Brown hair and brown eyes made me fall Your last cow shooting back double Shooting a couple living too fast When she left I was in trouble Didn't know that call was the last well, time I heard her voice scream Last time I heard a ring thrown across the floor And I don't love you anymore Man, you bring real to the table, Thank brother. Thank you, brother. That, that Good stuff. Great song. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Song. This song's better than the shirt. <laughs> yeah, I'll get you an orange one of these days. No, you won't. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Carl. What's up, Carl? Hey, what's, what's up? up? What's up? Hey, bro? man, let me tell you something. Right, what's happening oh, over here? Oh, we're great. Andrew was great. Man, Andrew sounded great. You'll love him. I miss you, man. I think he's got a hit on his hands. Mm. Sounds good. Uh, I hope I got a hit on my hands right here. You look like you got yeah, a hit on your do, hands. Yeah, you do, man. Oh, it, it sounds beautiful, man. Let's try one. Go oh, for yeah, it. Man. Let's yeah, do I'm it. Yeah, I'm on, you know, just keep going. Why not? Oh, man. That's Flavor City right there, bro. What's up, man? Look at that. What's up, fellas? Mm. You're coming, you're coming to the place. Mm. 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 My goodness. Mm. I'm going to make you guys a Bloody Mary, and we're going to make a Tennessean Bloody Mary. Ooh. Ah, I can't wait. Sweet. Right. You do that, I'm going to get everything on the table. I might have something that's going to go really well with those, uh, those poppers that Carl is uh, putting together. One and a half ounces of vodka. Carl would appreciate that. There you go. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have to have a little bit of a stain. Yeah, that's right. When you're drinking Bloody Marys, you can't all be just tomato exactly. juice. You yeah, need you a gotta, little bit of vodka. You gotta get your veggies in there. All right, so now we're gonna we're gonna hit it with some uh, chili flakes. Get it nice and spicy. Some black pepper. You smell the Bloody Mary. I know so this yeah. is gonna be a yeah, good stop for the night. He saw us over here shooting and making Bloody Marys. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to back on down. Pretty classic way to hang, if you ask me. <laughs> I'm with you. All right, so we're gonna go and shake this up. Yep. Got these guys. All right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, man. Get to work. That's right. I'm just overseeing here. <laughs> yeah. Man, you make this look so fun. So we got some pickled vegetables, and then uh, you know, let's do some beef sticks. I mean, we'll get some straws up here for for everyone. Oh, that looks mm. delicious. It does look Thank delicious. You. I mean, that, that is a huh? Saturday champions. game day. Bloody Mary, if I've ever seen one. Right in, Alex. When we come back from the break, hey, we're going to finally get to eat what that guy's cranked up on the grill. Don't forget to check out the Bama Tailgate promo and enter and good luck. It's a way to build our Bama Tailgate community and also have a really good time doing it. So don't forget to check out thecommunity.io and then scan the QR code or click the link on the YouTube bio. That's all you have to do. But thank you guys for being a part of what we're doing here on the Bama Tailgate Show and roll tide, everybody. Just dig in, man, whatever you want. Oh, yeah. yeah. So have y'all got a favorite tailgate story? A uh, home game, Tuscaloosa against Georgia. And we were right next to some Georgia people and we had the best time. Yeah. Bama won, right? Yeah, but you know. <laughs> I know you've got some stories. I do, man, but it ain't around a football field. I'm hanging out with John Boy for 28 years, I'm NASCAR. Okay. And one of my best times at Charlotte Motor Speedway. I got to cook for Dale Earnhardt and Rusty Wallace and their families. That's my favorite story. Love That's them. Great. Andrew, what's your favorite gig that you played? What's your favorite? favorite? Favorite gig I played? You know, it'd probably have to be the first one I ever did because I came in there so nervous and it turned out to be one of the best performances I've ever given. You've got social media and all that? Yeah, What's your social yeah. media? I'm um, about on TikTok, Facebook. Um, if it ain't Andrew Applegate, it's Andrew Applegate uh, Music. And that's everywhere. If you can't that's find good. it on one, it's one or the other. Thank you all for hanging with us here at Gating and Grilling. And don't forget, check our friends out at D Community. Get in it to win it. And we're going to have a whole lot more prizes to offer. So, got to play. Gotta play. We'll see you next time on Gating and Grilling.